No problem. <laughs> so another question. Okay. What's your take on qualified immunity? We need to get rid of it. Um, I firmly believe in the abolishment of the police. When you look at the police department historically, especially in the Southern context, um, police extend from the plantation. So they were paddy wagon or slave patrol um, or, or slave catchers. So their job, their function, their genesis, uh, their root is in uh, making sure that black people stay in their place. Black people are constantly stopped, questioned. Uh, do you deserve to be here? You don't belong here. What are you going? What you doing? Um, shaking you up and letting you know that uh, you, you better not ever forget who who <laughs> who, who we say that you are. So um, yes, I I believe in the end of qualified immunity. Um, police departments have gained a tremendous amount of power over the last century. Um, and the ability for them to be able as, especially like if we think about the Chattanooga Police Department, they're city employees. Can you imagine mm -hmm. a, a parking employee having the right to shoot you dead? <laughs> Nothing happening <laughs> to them. That's the equivalent or the city janitor shooting you dead and <laughs> having a right to do that. That's exactly what we're talking about. Uh, these people are employed by us and our tax dollars pay their salary. It should not, you know, even utilizing a weapon should be an absolute last resort. Short of somebody pinning you down with gunfire, there's no reason for you to discharge your weapon whatsoever. Um, so, but when you understand the genesis of police, uh, you understand that not only do you have to abolish the power that they have, they should have never, um, n never been able to continue beyond beyond what we said was the abolishment of slavery. So what y'all don't understand, what she just explained was the origin of police comes from. I know this. It used to be called the slave patrol. Mm -hmm. So coming from slavery, they wanted a way to control the slaves. So they instituted what's called the slave patrol which we know now as the police and they implemented what is it uh what was the original laws called i can't it slips my mind right like now. slave codes black codes yeah yeah so that's what we was that's what she was basically just explaining and under qualified immunity that's where we get your mike browns your uh they see mike brown eric garner and cases of that nature where under the qualified immunity it gives police immunity for criminal well basically killing people of the under their jurisdiction and most of the time to be honest have y'all noticed that it's always the slaves the ex-slaves as they say 